baddies welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel i know it has been a long <laughs> a long time coming but i'm going to actually show you how i do my unstuffings um using my expense tracker here it's my expense tracker sheet so this is whenever i use my credit card in lieu of my sinking funds meaning i don't carry these around with me on a day-to-day but I track what I spend out of here so that I can pull it out in cash. Now, there's typically not this many, but I haven't done one of these in like a month and a half. September was a whole struggle. I don't know if Mercury was in Gatorade or whatever was happening, but <laughs> it has been a month. And financially, it has not been the most successful month. I have overspent. I've been in my feelings and, you know, sad shopping or whatever. So... Hopefully October is a better month, but I need to go ahead and clean up my spending from the last six weeks or so. So first of all, um, I did tell you guys I was saving to pay myself back for that Baccarat perfume, and that was $530. So I'm going to go back here to my perfume fund, and we are going to pull $530. Bucks. So $102, $345. And 30. Okay. And y'all know this expense was forever ago, but I just hadn't got around to pulling the money. I wanted I thought I wanted to use this cash tray, but I think I'm good on that. Yeah, yeah, I will. But the hundreds, the twenty and the ten. Okay, so we got the Baccarat pulled. All right, next up in hair products, I actually have a subby who gave me the hookup on Olaplex, and I got like the whole line and the jumbo sizes, but all in all, it came out to about 350 is what I had to sell her. So 100, 200, 300. I'm gonna actually use the 220s and a 10, 50. this back in my account and if you're wondering how I was able to wait so long to do this I do have a nice savings so I just kind of transferred the money over to my credit card but you really shouldn't do that I need to be responsible every month and put the money back into the fund okay let's see if there's anything else in this binder no car maintenance no prescriptions Amazon so Amazon I did get a phone case and an Apple Watch case. I um, upgraded both of those. And that was $31. So I'm just going to pull 30 I did an unboxing of my phone. I think I'm going to come on here and show you guys the Apple Watch. Maybe do a video because I actually... <laughs> I decided um, with this month's YouTube check, I was going to spend it on me. So I put away the tax money. I put away the investment portion and the rest I shopped away. So go ahead and judge. Let's see. For Target here, again, see here you can see the categories that it should come from. And then here's a description of what I bought. So out of Target, I bought me some loungewear that I'm wearing now. Like this really looks robe is so comfortable. I'm a loungewear fiend. Um, and I bought four of them because it was so comfortable <laughs> and that was $108 so I'm just gonna pull 110 and so you'll see with the Target purchases like there are several things I bought from Target um, like I also brought hair products out of there but that's gonna come out of the hair product fund I kind of only use the Target fund when I go in the store so Okay, for shoes and clothing, I got a hoodie. Oh my God, they had this, the office themed hoodie that came across my Facebook. And so I had to go get it. Um, So I got that from Torrid, which was $48.27. And then I also bought me some foam runners. Um, <laughs> I was watching this Netflix show um, with this Arab guy, but he lived in Houston. So he was like black Arab, like 
he was very culturally aware but he was also from houston so he was super hood but anyway he was selling shoes out the back of his trunk and he sold this old man these foam runners and they were like oh my god they're so comfortable and honey i'm nothing if good for comfort so i bought me a pair and now i need every color <laughs> because they are hands down the most comfortable shoe i've ever put on in my life like the look of them kind of has to wear on you but baby that comfort 10 out of 10 so i did go ahead and grab a pair of those off of goat which is a resale site so they were probably way overpriced but you know so i'm just going to add up those two totals and that total was 269.67 so i'm going to try to pull 270 if i have it i should so we're going to do this old 100 so 100 200 250 270 out of clothes and shoes but yeah I, i'm super stoked about them if you have like i have big feet right and a bad back because i have huge boobs and so like foot support if i really noticed that like i have, have a lot less pain if i wear good shoes and honey worth worth every penny of that 200 dollars hair products yes so i did buy me an edge brush because i'm trying to make myself look more decent on here and i usually just wear my natural hair as it is like i don't believe in taming myself down for it. <laughs> anybody but it like this new haircut i need some edge control so i got some miss jessie's and an edge brush for 19.97 and 4.13 which is about 25 bucks. So I'm going to pull 25 out of here. Yeah, like as a black woman, like you're always meant to feel like you have to water yourself down. And I just refuse. Like I remember like forcibly straightening my hair to go to job interviews because that's more professional. Like, honey, no, you get these curls how they come out of my head, period. Okay. Like, I wear what I want, I do what I want, all that. Oh, I didn't check off um, Amazon. Yes, I did. My loungewear, that's what I'm missing. Okay, so I think that's everything out of here. So we are all unstuffed from our low priority binder. All right, here in high priority, there are a few as well. So the very first one is I bought tires in like July, y'all, and never just never pulled the money out. So we're gonna go to car maintenance. Like, how trifling is that? And I think I'm just gonna pull the um 1k slip because I can transfer it over out of my sinking fund savings account to my um back to my savings. So I'm gonna pull this whole hundred because I think it was like 958. But whatever change is left. I'll bring it and put it back in the sinking fund. So for now, we're just going to pull the one case slip. Okay. Um, let's see. Prescriptions. Should be in here. Yes. Prescriptions was 148.17. I do have to buy like mental health meds. So I need to get some insurance, but... Ugh. Okay, 148.17. So we're just going to do one. Let's do one. I want, really want to use these 20s, but I'll do 150. 150 out of here. And I have to buy some more tomorrow, so I wish I knew the total. I'll go ahead and pull it today, but. Okay. And then out of Halloween, we did, I bought Halloween pajamas for my niece and I. So I'm just going to pull them out of this fund. <laughs> it, typically it would come out of shoes and clothes, but since it's Halloween themed, and we're probably not even going to use this money because kids don't really even trick or treat no more. And I thought we were going to be in our own house and this money would be for decorations and stuff, but we're not. So, um, so 65 out of here. Look at that. Perfect. We have perfect. 65 okay and we got really cute um matching pajamas so we'll just 
I'll cook something and we'll watch scary movies together. Okay, last but not least is vehicle insurance. And I included this one, but I, like I said, I pay. If you ever watch any of my other videos, I just give it to my dad in cash. And I actually already did that before this video. So we pulled 610 out of here. And I won't have to pay again until six months. So, so that's it for the high priority binder as well. And so now everything is paid and this money is just going to go to the bank to get deposited. It would typically go to my savings to be transferred to pay off the credit card if I was acting right. But I've already paid the credit card with my savings, so it'll just go back to my savings. This $1,000 will get transferred from my sinking funds high yield savings account into my personal, just normal savings. So we have 1000 1112 I hate them. Old bills are with new bills. Okay. So 1000 1100 1200 2400 2350 2370 2480 2490 2500 2510 2520 2530 so we have 2500 dollars going back into my personal savings coming from my sinking fund so that is how i leverage my credit so i got probably about I don't know, $150 worth of rewards for these purchases. Um, so that's why I do it. But I keep my balance on my credit cards at zero. Like I pay it before the statement date. So I do leave like 3 or $4 just so that something reports. But I pay it down almost to zero every month. And this is how I leverage my credit while also using sinking funds because I love the cash envelope method. Um, but it's just, I'm not, I'm not carrying all that money around every day. So I use my card and pay it back. And you can do the same if you are responsible enough to stay within your budgets for your sinking funds. Don't try this method if you're going to max out your card and you don't have the money to pay it. Just digging yourself a deeper hole. Because when I first started, I definitely was not using a credit card. If I wanted something from Amazon, y'all, I literally used to have to take the cash out of my envelope, go deposit it in the ATM and buy what I wanted. But that created a discipline and a mindset within me where I rarely ever overspend. Um, I had a really bad mental health crisis this month. And that's kind of what I do when, in, when I haven't slept for five days because insomnia and I'm depressed, like I, I shop. So <laughs> like I said, honey, I blew through that YouTube check, but... I, I am who I am. My condition is what it is. But 90% of the time, I'm staying in control of my money. So if you're a person who's in the same boat or you have, a, you know, Mercury and Gatorade affected you too, don't be discouraged because in October, we are getting our entire life together and we're going to get back to it. All right. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a really good weekend. Bye.